Greetings world. Since we now know the Charlie Hebdo attack was a Gladio 2 false flag by the usual suspects, NATO hardliners and Zionists, can we safely make the same assumption about these new Friday the 13th Paris atrocities? I think we can. Almost every really big terror attack turns out, after extensive critical examination, to have been the usual state-sponsored false flag stuff. There is no reason to think this one will be any different. The first question, as always is, who gains? And the answer, as always is, authoritarian insiders, Zionists, militarists, New World Order instigators. Speaking of which, the order out of chaos thing is going into overdrive, between the destruction of several Middle Eastern countries, refugees flooding Europe, preparations for World War III versus Russia and China, and ongoing false flag terror. It seems the creative destruction people are staying busy. The authorities will surely use these new attacks in the same way they used Charlie Hebdo. As an excuse to shut down critical thinking and dissent, Francis President Allende has attacked Charlie Hebdo conspiracy theorists in harsh terms. If I were a truly paranoid conspiracy theorist, I would say the Charlie Hebdo high perps are fleeing forward into even bigger chaos and an even bigger crackdown on freedom especially the freedom to seek the truth about false flag terror. And let's not forget that the EU just instituted mandatory labeling of products from the occupied territories. The Zionists are throwing a gargantuan hissy fit, just like right before the Charlie Hebdo attacks. So the least that can be said is that the timing seems extremely suspicious. Then again, maybe it's all just coincidence. Maybe this is an actual attack by angry Muslims. Maybe there is no state sponsorship. Maybe this time, for once, it actually isn't a false flag. But what would radical Muslims gain? It's already being blamed on ISIS. Yet that makes no sense. Since Russia, not France, is fighting ISIS in Syria. And ISIS, of course, is a fabricated synthetic terror group, not a real Muslim group. Anyway, to believe the official Muslims did its stories of the big terror attacks starting with 9-11. You would have to think of the ostensible Muslim perps as complete idiots, utterly incapable of strategic thinking, desperate to hand the Zionist neocons exactly the kind of PR they want. So although it's too early to say for sure, I think we can tentatively assume that this Friday the 13th massacre in Paris is just the latest in a long series of false flag spectacles. And if we let the perps get away with this one, as they've gotten away with all the others, we can expect more of the same. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.